Hello, welcome to this uh, FIWER Academy course in the scope of the security chapter and regarding uh, identity management, key rock genetic enabler. And this lesson is uh, related also with the cloud hosting chapter because I'm going to explain you a very useful thing that uh, will allow you uh, will allow you to uh, authorize other users to uh, use your cloud resources. Okay, as you know, if you want to use the cloud resources that we provide in Firewall Lab, um, if you are a trial or a community user, you can do uh, so by default because you, uh, uh, when you upgrade your account, uh, you have a special organization that we call cloud organization and inside this organization you can start deploying uh, cloud resources but if you are a basic uh, user of course you can upgrade your account to a trial or, or to a community account but you can also ask uh, another user another community or trial user to authorize you inside uh, his organization this is uh, so useful uh, also in a, uh, in a use case in which uh, you are working a, in a team, uh, you are uh, several members in a, in, a, in a working group and uh, all of you want uh, to access the cloud resources, to start managing cloud resources, but you want to uh, request only a community account. So, only uh, one person of your uh, team will ask uh, for a community account and the other members of the team will be basic users that will be authorized inside that uh, community account. This way, all of, the all of them, all of the members of the team will share the cloud resources in the same cloud organization. So here are explain the, the guidelines that I'm going to show you in the in the real demo you can check them uh, here in the slides and you can check them also uh, in this document that we provide in the in the firewall wiki but let's go to the demo uh, i have uh, here in two browsers uh, two different uh, accounts okay this is uh, the first account that is already as you can see here, uh, a community a community account. I can enter here in the in the settings, and I can see that this account is a community account that started uh, this day and expires uh, in this date. Okay, and uh, here in another browser, I have a basic account. Here you can you can check. Uh, I can check in the account status that uh, this is a basic account. Of course, here I can request a community account, but if not, I can um, ask the community account to uh, authorize me inside uh, his organization. So, uh, as you can see here, if I go to the cloud uh, to the cloud tab, uh, he will say, uh, say me that uh, I'm not able to access the cloud resources because I'm a basic user. Okay. Here you will find also links to the different processes to upgrade the account, okay? But what I'm going to, to do now is to go to the other account, this one, that is the community uh, one. Of course, if I go to the cloud tab, I'm, I'm able to access the, the cloud resources, as you can see here, inside this organization, that is uh, Alvaro Alonso Cloud Organization, the default organization of my user in the cloud environment, okay? So, I'm going to, uh, using the account portal, I'm going to authorize the other user uh, inside my organization. So, the steps are the following one. The first step is to switch here to the specific organization. In this case, Alvaro Alonso Cloud. That is the organization that I uh, want to manage. Okay? When I, uh, once I uh, here in this uh, session, I have to go here in this panel to members in order to add the other user inside okay so the first thing that i have to do is to add the other the other user as a member of my organization in order to do so i have to click here in manage and i have to 
uh, search the other user here, that is Alvaro test, and when uh, it appears here, I have to add it as a member of this uh, organization. Okay? If I click here in save, um, this uh, user is now a member of my organization. Okay? But that's not all, that's not enough, because right now this user is a member of my organization, but he is not authorized to use uh, the cloud application inside this organization. So the next step is to go here to this uh, authorize button and um, assign uh, to this uh, organization member uh, in this, in this uh, uh, window I see only the members of my organization okay and adding here then I have to provide him the needed rights inside the cloud application, okay? I have to uh, assign the role member inside the cloud organization. So now I click here in save and uh, right now the uh, basic user Alvaro test is authorized inside uh, my cloud organization, okay? Uh, a way to check it is that if uh, now I go here in the basic account to uh, applications um, section, I can see now that I'm authorized uh, inside uh, this cloud application. So now I have access to the cloud uh, application. And if I go here to, uh, to this um, tab, I will see that yes, I have access to this uh, um, this organization, okay? And if I go to uh, uh, the region, uh, the Spain uh, region, I will see um, uh, where is Spain? Okay, I have, uh, let me, a second, if I go to Spain region, okay? I can see here the same virtual machine, the same resource that uh, the other user already have. Okay, so this is the way uh, to authorize user inside my organization. That's all for this uh, season, for this uh, lesson. Sorry. Uh, thank you so much, and see you in the next one. Bye.